Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Tran and I am a chem major on the pre-med track at UAB. I just finished one half of my senior year and as unreal as it feels to say that, I know that I've learned a lot about myself in these past few months. One thing I've always known about myself is that I'm very bad at adjusting to change. And I've known this fact since I arrived at college my freshman year. I used to get homesick a lot and going back home to Huntsville was something I always looked forward to. It was my safe haven from the unfamiliarity of Birmingham. Back then, I never really fully enjoyed driving back to campus because I was leaving my family and my comfort behind. But this year, I've started to realize that Birmingham is becoming the definition of home for me. Every time I go back to Huntsville now, I can't stop thinking about how much I miss Birmingham. But it's not the city that I miss. It's the people, my friends, and the memories I've made with them. I'm getting older and my brain is getting less wrinkly, so here are my fall 2022 senior year highlights so that I may never forget them. Okay, so it is the last week of summer and you're playing pickleball with the family. Um, we started a Spotify playlist, but it's mainly me that has added to it, so I'm about to play it. There are some people on the other courts, so I feel bad. In August, I played some quality pickleball and tennis with my cousins before I left for college. They were running circles around me for real, and if becoming a senior wasn't a reminder of how much older I'm getting, playing sports with them was definitely one. They clown on me, but just look at how cute they are. We have some right there, some right there, some right there. Let's go. Okay. Wait, what? Why are you watching the vlog? Yo. Welcome to the vlog, Welcome everybody. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that follow button real quick. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I then started my senior year at UAB moving into Rast Hall with my roomies, Fiona, Sydney, and Laurel. My room no longer looks like this because I feng shuied it, but here's a before and after of my room. My favorite memory of August was the leadership team retreat for the Vietnamese Student Association planned by Brittany, Fiona, and Brantwin. At that retreat, it started to hit me that I was the president of VSA, and internally, I started tearing up. Of course, freaking out, because it's been four years in the making. It felt like all the blood, sweat, and tears that I put into my community finally paid off. But a part of me was getting anxious on whether I would do a good job to uphold the reputation that VSA has. Ever since my freshman year, so much was invested into us. And I kept thinking, would I even be able to do the same? September rolled around, and my favorite accomplishment of the month was putting on the USGA retreat. It was Avatar themed this year, and my wonderful committee and I worked extremely hard to build bonds within our organization. Sometimes, student government is hard to familiarize yourself with or find pride in. All the work we do often goes unnoticed, and there are times when we disagree with one another. But that retreat reminded me of how lucky I was to be in USGA, and how much confidence I grew because of my experience in it. Much love to the new friendships I've found and the ones I've continued to grow because of USGA. September was a lot of studying, but it was also a lot of preparation for the events my team had been planning for months. I remember going to Abrielle's apartment to prepare for our fundraiser, and in the breaks, we would play Snake or watch pop star renditions of the national anthem. I also got to witness the beginning of our culture show preparation. VSA's wonderful dance captains held workshops, and they selected some of the best dancers for our show. Our dance teams already have begun fostering familial bonds. They're so cute. And seeing them work so hard this semester makes me really excited for our show in February. Uh, and everybody just kind of looked at me. In my blog. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> As the president of VSA, I get to lead my wonderful executive board members. And something I always looked forward to were our meetings. Whoever was available would get food at WOW Cafe before we headed to the egg of the fifth floor at Heritage. 
There, my eboard members would provide updates on all the hard work they've been doing. And seeing their passion was just a constant reminder of how much I loved being the president. Outside of these meetings, there are officers and many members in VSA who dedicate so much time to help behind the scenes. The long nights preparing and having events every week gave me the opportunity to grow closer to many of the people that make up our wholesome community. And as flawed as I am and the many mistakes I have made as a leader, it's them that uplift me to do better and to not dwell too much on what I could have done. I love them so much and they work so hard to make VSA what it is. They're truly the backbone of why Birmingham has become home for me and for many others. Looking at this footage makes me so excited for VSA next semester. Body roll, go. What? Body roll, go. Oh. 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 Body roll, go. Body roll, go. Oh, that's good though. That's good. That's pretty good. Wait, can I say something? What are you gonna say? <laughs> September ended with our soccer game against ICA or the Indian Cultural Association. We played a strong game, but we lost at the penalty kicks. Losing at sports wasn't unfamiliar to VSA though. We were so used to it. And what mattered most was that we had fun and got to cheer on our friends through it all. Then October began and I got to catch up with my friend Shark. We got matching pajamas at Target for our VSA homecoming hype preparation, and my internal VP, Sydney, led VSA's efforts for homecoming this year. Our HOCO team worked so hard to get us to first place in the Blazer Spirit competition, and accepting the award on the field with Sid was definitely a highlight of October. I also looked forward to Sundays, where I would go to church with Thomas and David. Always after Mass, we would have an adventure, but my favorite times were definitely our sushi dates at Sushi Village, where we would all compete to see who ordered the best specialty roll. I only won once with the Pink Lady. I also led my first presidential committee in USGA, the Interim Financial Affairs Committee. At one of our cabinet meetings, the USGA Finance Division surprised me with a Squishmallow and an ice cream cake for all the hard efforts we put into them. They truly made the job so easy though. I can't even tell you how many hours each of them dedicated into this transition process. They all care so much for the student body and they lost so much sleep because of the paperwork and meetings they had to have. I love you finance division. You guys always have my heart and I hope you continue working as hard as you have been. No, so we're organizing Marie kondo -y. In October, I got to organize the VSA closet with my social head, Carolyn Trung. It was our spontaneous Marie Kondo date, and I enjoyed getting to spend time with Carolyn. She's a girl boss and probably the funniest person I know. If you ever want to know, her favorite candy is those nerd cluster gummies. After... We did Yay! It. <laughs> Hello! Hello. Dean, are you so happy to be here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also had a photo shoot for our VSA October social wedding with one of my best friends, June. We met the first week of school in our freshman year Kim class. And ever since, we've been able to see each other grow and be each other's biggest cheerleaders. So having our photos taken after four years of a beautiful friendship was one of my favorite memories of October. A huge thank you to Nathan and Esther for making us look so good. For me, October was definitely a month of food. I think I learned that my ideal quality time is a meal with friends. I got the adults kids meal at McDonald's with Kimmy, who is basically like my older sister. She's been super busy in her first year of med school, so every second I get to spend with her is precious to me. I also got to eat at a new sandwich restaurant called The Garage with David, even though it took us forever to decide where to eat. And there was just more McDonald's, I guess. But this trip was with some of my favorites, Hayden, Josh, John, Esther, and Nathan after a long day of filming for VSA. I also got to eat poke bowls with members of my internal engagement committee in USGA, and I got to eat Burger King with the seniors of the VSA executive board, Angelina, Josh, and Sydney. Branwini also took me and Fiona to this really cute pastry shop in Homewood. We got these kind of pricey cookies, but they were still pretty good. 
My last footage of October meals is probably my most favorite meal I had, which is a Saigon Noodle House with members of my VSA executive board. We were all dressed in our fanciest red owl yais, walking into a Vietnamese restaurant. All eyes were definitely on us, which was something I'm not really used to, but it was the laughter and the meal that felt like home that I enjoyed the most. Oh, and definitely when the waitress told Josh that he was a lucky man for eating a meal with so many beautiful women. All right, we're gonna, this is, what, what day is it today? It's second. It is the second. It's 27 days until Olympics. And so, you know, if this is, if you guys see this right now, that means we won. We won. I mean, we why won. would we post this if we didn't? <laughs> That's very, very If we post this, we won. We won, <laughs> yeah. And I'm predicting we win basketball, we win volleyball, and, and relay race. That's what I'm predicting. What about dodgeball? Dodgeball, we'll come in like third or something. We're predicting a third goal. Well, she's going to get that. Uh, Sarah's a loser. Yeah. Then, the best memory ended the month of October for me. Asian Festival. My entire team and I poured our souls into making this event better than it was the year before. And we got to meet lots of leaders from other Asian organizations. We spent hours making sure everything was perfect. Ready, one, two, three, yes! And we of course had a feature from one of our dance teams for Lotus, the Dynasty. Perhaps my favorite memory captured was our winning moment from Olympics this year. For once, we were winners. It felt good to know that all the hard work we put into our community was finally getting the gold. I always have confidence in VSA and who we are, but this moment was unmatched for a lot of us. We were so used to losing at everything that the feeling of winning as underdogs seemed unthinkable, but we did it. We reached our goal, proved everyone wrong, and we broke our losing streak, finally. Then October ended and November started. The thought in my mind was, why is time moving so fast? September and October felt so long, but somehow it was so short at the same time. Time was not on my side and November began with a few new changes in my life. I learned to become more honest with my feelings and to express what some people mean to me more openly. It led to the start of something new and a discovery of another side of myself. In November, I had my first exposure to Wingstop. This trip was definitely not my last of the month. I love chicken wings, I love their fries, and their ranch is to die for. You'll only catch me eating carrots at Wingstop. I also went to support my friends at ICA for their annual culture show, Diwali, or the Festival of Lights. The show was so beautiful to see for the first time. And of course, Fiona had to smuggle in rice crackers for us because we were so hungry. Then it was time for Korean Culture Night, hosted by my friends at KUSA. I wanted to support my friends and all the hard work they put into the show. Then more e-board meetings and the start of grind time for our Lotus Director meetings began. Here we tried attempting the Asian Grandma Star. I also got my new little at the Ace reveal this year. His name is David and I will 100% be neglecting him, but he already knows that. He's studying for the MCAT right now, so wish him the best of luck, but I know he won't need it. November was also a lot of wishing happy birthdays, one to my friend David Sabillon in our PKIM class and another to a good friend, Kendrick. Then I approached Thanksgiving, which was also another new experience for me, because this year I invited my friends Brandwini, Sydney, and Fiona to come eat with my family. I've never done that before but they feel so much like family to me that it was easy for me to do. We also went to Branwen's family Thanksgiving afterwards and shared a lot of laughter there. Here they are karaoke.
When Thanksgiving break ended, it was just immediately exam season for me. November transitioned into December, and it was just studying on end. The only highlights I have were trying to snatch Night in Saigon tickets with VSA, celebrating Branwen and Brittany's birthday with their birthday board bash, making Instagram reels with the leadership team, picnicking with June, and having a pre pekim exam pizza party with Ash, Eric, Josh, and June. Before I headed back to Huntsville, I had to reunite with the old Catan gang, Hazel, Tim, and Josh, to play late night Catan, and of course, eat brunch with my roomies. We were at Frothy Monkey for two hours, but the food was definitely yummy and light on the stomach. I think my favorite part was just sitting in comfortable silence because of how tired we were from exams, but also reflecting on our semester and what's to come for us in the future. When I look back on these memories of senior year, I understand why Birmingham has become such a home for me. These people and the memories I've made have become my source of comfort despite all the things I worry about. Unfortunately, not everyone I love was captured in these videos, but you know who you are. Every time I return to Huntsville, I miss all of them. In fact, I miss them right now, and I hope they're finally taking that long needed break for themselves. The people in my life, my friends, inspire me to be better and have pushed me to grow. They're my chosen home and my chosen family, and I've learned so much from them. It still hasn't hit me that I only have one semester of college left, but what I would tell my freshman year self is that you'll be okay, and you'll find yourself wanting to delay this last semester just a little bit longer, so you can create more memories like these. You'll no longer have those feelings of homesickness for Huntsville because you found your home in the people around you. They love you, and you love them, and you found your happiness because of them. Now it's on to the next and last semester of UAB. Stay warm, with love, Sarah. Hey guys, I'm in the middle of a murder scene. Um, yeah, let's interview them. Uh, state your name and occupation. Dead. Okay. Uh, next one. Name and occupation. <laughs> name and occupation. Dead. Okay. Like a long time ago. Somebody say. All right. <laughs> 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 <laugh